Hi everyone, Alex here, just letting you know that this episode is sponsored by Euphony and their brand new sci-fi audio drama podcast, Crypto Z. Crypto Z is set in a deeply immersive, fast-paced, futuristic world where ICC agents are risking everything to restore life on the planet. The first season follows Jane Silver, a cryptozoologist who is deployed on a tense mission to track and capture a human-like creature, the mesmerising and menacing Iceman. Prepare to be transported into the wilderness with Jane as she ascends through the Alps and comes face to face with her quarry. This podcast has been created by New York Times bestselling novelist Danielle Trussoni and award-winning filmmaker Hadrian Royan, and it is a whirlwind of action and suspense from episode one. Crypto Z is launching right now, so why not head over and subscribe via your favourite podcatcher? Just search Crypto Z, that's C-R-Y-P-T-O hyphen Z, or follow the link in the show notes to today's episode. Episode 154 of the Rusk Gaming Podcast. I'm your host and GM Alex Newell. With me today, I have Ben Meredith, Fred Monroe, Lydia Nicholas, and Helen Gould. And who are you playing? Zol Smith, Hamid Slaher, and Atahan. Sell sidebottom. And us. And complete sidebar, I've realised how dark it is with the temporary replacement bulb we've got in the studio. It's spooky. It's, 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 it's real kind of moody, like, western boudoir vibes. <laughs> I am finding it very romantic. Thank, <laughs> if thank I go you. quiet halfway through the episode, it's because I have fallen asleep. Yeah, it's, it's more of a recording saloon if I go quiet, now. it's because the rose between my teeth <laughs> made it too difficult to speak. So we are going to be picking up broadly speaking where we left off which is having to all intents and purposes conquered the show in institute and being placed in uh, holding cell so that you can do your standard decontamination which is wait and see you have all gotten real drunk and had a bit of sharing had a bit of caring but i'm not going to pick up with you continuing to be drunk the earliest that I want to pick up is the morning after. And we're all hungover. However, if people want to skip further ahead, that's fine. But I am interested in the morning after if people are willing. Oh, it's okay. all hungover. No, I, was, no, I had a, a real intrusive freeze frame to who slept with who. <laughs> no, we can't do this. We can't do this to the fans. <laughs> There's a pile of clothes at the bottom of the stairs, but we don't know who they are. Ooh. And there was only one corridor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Super awkward. <laughs> <laughs> right. With that in mind, then, I am going to jump to the morning after to get NPCs out of the way. Barnes is still up the stairs in the, in the stairway, mm. making a mess of his spine for no real reason. And Carter is still face down where he was left. Oh, I'm going to go and check on Carter to make sure he's still breathing. Give me a heel check. Okay. <laughs> he's <that>. dead. <laughs> That'd be such a bleak twist. Oh dear. That'd be such a bleak twist. That's an 18. Yeah, he'd probably be fine. You consider turning him over and go, actually, he's he's probably better like this. I'll put him in the recovery position. You make a point of angling his head into the corner as opposed to into the room so that oh, if, yeah, naturally. if things happen, they're happening away I only want him to be covered in sick. I don't want all of us to be <laughs> absolutely, covered Absolutely, absolutely. He'll, he'll probably be fine. He might be slightly dumber the amount of alcohol he must have taken in. Oh, well. (laughs) It's Carter. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but think about it in terms of percentages. He's not got a lot to lose. That's like 60% gone. Uh, I'm still asleep. I'm sleeping late. That makes sense. I've drunk a lot. What else have you got to do? (laughs) (laughs) Sell the snores. I'm enjoying that my my insight into the morning after is exactly what I expected, which is... Uh, Hammond feels okay. Hammond was actually very sensible and uh, only had a couple of glasses Ooh. of wine. Boo. Oh. Boo. And it was Boo. really good wine as well. Yeah, yeah. But it, yeah, he just. Hamid is going to get out a piece of chalk and start writing on the walls. Okay. If I. What? It's time to create a conspiracy board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come and watch because I have a very high constitution, so I probably feel okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that scans. Yes, like, it does. Hangovers are directly proportional to your con modifier, people. <laughs> what is my con modifier? Cell so is sleeping through their hangover and is cuddling the bottle of Elvish Mead. Oh, oh yeah. Did Cell drink the oh. Elvish Mead? Cell just now has the Elvish Mead. Yeah, they're keeping it. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> mm-hmm. I have a much higher con mod than uh, 
than as he does. <gasps> I never said you were more hungover. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making a point to Helen. You know, that's fine. If you'd like, you can give a bunch of knowledge checks that other people could do better. <laughs> I did enjoy listening back. To it. <laughs> you came out so much worse, and I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay. So the, the four headings, one on each wall. Gotcha. Okay. Simulacrum. Yep. Infection. Mm-hmm. Mr. Ceiling. And Squid. Is it Squid? Like question With mark? Question, question mark. mark. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do we know? Do we know it's called a Kraken? Did we work that out? Yes. I can't remember. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably right. Well, Zol- Zolf. I mean, it was written, and Zolf was like, "Yeah, I know about Krakens." Okay. I'll I'll, I'll rub out yeah. Squid and write Kraken when I think a little bit harder. So. Yeah, basically, I'm going to start probably listing questions as much as answers. Yeah. What are your questions? Mm. What are you buying? <laughs> what so, are you selling? We know that Edison designed the simulacrum. No, we know that Tesla designed the simulacrum, but Edison built it. We know that it was capable of self-producing, but we also know that someone had a factory churning them out. Now, we don't know who was running that factory. We think Cult of Hades, so that'll be on there with a question mark. Wasn't it Byron? The person that looked like he would have been Byron. Maybe, son? maybe Wellington. Yeah. Well, so I, I'll well, put and I'll put like Wellington with a double question mark. <laughs> you remembered so much stuff, Brent. Like, mm. I was just like, what? Oh, this is great because obviously Grizzle's dead, so I don't have to remember anything. Yeah. anymore. <laughs> hey, you know what? You've so got even so, better. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah. The other thing is we don't know where those simulacrum would potentially be going to be shipped to afterwards. So I'll write something like destination slash receiver question mark. The other thing we know about the simulacrum is there was a kill switch. Tesla designed a kill switch, and we found that there's partial design for that in the Cairo vault. We believe a cleric of Hephaestus started working on it, but that person seems to have disappeared. Mm. So that's probably everything under the simulacrum for now. Mr. Ceiling. So that's designed by Henri. Technology shared with Shoin. Did other instances get founded or started we don't know we know the one under Paris was thoroughly destroyed energy source stuff yeah I'm, I'm wondering that's going to go somewhere I haven't worked that out yet yeah, really. and Leon. yeah so infection again some questions where did it start what is the mechanism what is the goal of the infected is one of the big questions Hamid has. Because mm. he doesn't know, because, again, we've been away. We, just we don't know, know they're this. bad. We don't know what yeah. they're actually doing. So, yeah, what, was, what is the goal of the infected? How much coordination do they show? What are their tactics? How is Shoin involved? What did he do? What, what did he do? Do you want a pen and paper to write these down yeah. so that you have your well, list maybe. of questions? Well, maybe. I mean, I, I'm honestly, I think, I think I've got a lot of it in my head. I've been thinking about this for a while. You can tell, <laughs> you can tell it's the beginning of a session because Bryn has spent the last couple of days being like, right, what do I need to remember yeah. to start this session? You, you, you did prep, well done. <laughs> yeah, you really did. I was just like, ha oh. yeah. <laughs> ha. Yay, see you, my friends. I, yeah, I I'm going to have chips. I love I just, you, Bryn. I, just, I, got, I love you, I've gotten Bryn. so invested in this at this point. I am f***ing a... I just turn up and hope I can do the voice. It's not that we're not invested in the no, game. No, no. We're just not I'm, nerds. I'm yeah. completely obsessed, like a big old <laughs> with nerd. The, with the jocks of roleplay. Yeah. <laughs> you're the cool kids. Yeah. I mean, we ner- are reaching the point where you're you're all powering towards the dream, which is a game that's been running so long you've now out played like most games that will ever exist <laughs> which is weird oh no oh. apart from like the big the 20 year ones oh yeah like, the, like the truly enormous enormous ones but they're, they're few and far between what else does Shoei know we know he severed the corpus callosum to prevent transfer from one side to the other but it seems like because he's had direct contact and might still not be completely infected he might know a lot oh he knows how to be a butt says Zolf <laughs> Like clambering up, having just woken Thank, up. Thanks, Zolf. <laughs> That's um, a big list of questions. Yeah, I just, I really want to, there's so many things we don't know, but I think that probably oh. amongst the people in this room, we've got a lot of answers and we've still got all the, the paperwork from showing that we could go through. And if Wild has any others, well, he probably won't give it to us until we're out of the week, I guess. But, you know, I, I just think it, it, it's worth working out what we already know and, and what we still need, need to know before we charge off on the next urgent quest makes sense we've got time so under the kraken how were they communicating how were they controlled did we disrupt slash destroy that what was Shoin's goal were they responsible for the weird weather things probably yes <laughs> in brackets yeah <laughs> uh, like 
Oh, your handwriting's so neat as well, isn't it? Oh, I bet it is. Hamid's is pretty neat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it'd be like looking at a banking ledger, just with nice cursive, all of the margins perfect. <laughs> as he's been putting little doodles beside each title. <laughs> yeah, works for me. Little crackers. I've, 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 got, <laughs> I've got a whole selection of, of chalk colours as well. Is there, is there showing there's just a circle with a brain inside? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and of course, as it wasn't there for Mr. C, so she just put a smiley face. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean broadly, pretty yes. close. Yeah. <laughs> what I imagined. Yeah, and probably then I go back to the Mr. Ceiling wall and write about the power source and be like, was it successfully miniaturised? How was it modified? Is it present in other places? Because we don't know that for sure, but mm. we think. Because I think that is a separate thread. that, And it's actually one of the things that probably links some of these different walls. Now... I, what Bryn has been saying is not necessarily exactly word for word what Hammond's been writing. I just want to create the, you know, create the impression of what's going on. Yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, we've got a big, basically, it's a huge mind map of all the mm. kind of questions and answers that we have. And it's for the team to brainstorm on and work out what happens next, what we know, what we don't know. Uh, don't forget about the seed. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. But we, we don't really know anything about that, and apart from the fact exactly. that it's probably related. Yeah. But what I'm thinking is... Um, uh, wh- what right- kind of... what? Uh, cells woken up. We're doing uh, a plan. <laughs> I hand sell a glass of water. Aww. Oh, thank you, little buddy. Thanks. So, what was there a mysterious object that I what? Because I mean, I might got a seed. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm not really a biologist. No. Yeah, well, it's, just, it's yeah. weird. It's sort of metallic as well. I mean, you can have a look, but we still never really worked out anything about sort it. Sort of thing. I'll just, like, could I roll a knowledge? Only alchemy? knowledge nature. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, I've got a lot of that. Roll knowledge nature. You might be the only character it's physically possible to get any info Ooh. from. Yeah, it is. Um, I think this is, of course, the time room. that I roll a three. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I mean, that's what I'm hoping for. I'd rather you didn't do well. A two. Whoa. <laughs> Which gives you a 14. You've never seen anything like it. Before. I've never seen anything like it before, which in fact is quite a lot of information because well, I have seen a lot of things. We were going to go to Svalbard with the seed bank up there. See, though, I think I, I don't know if that's related to the infection either because I've always been maybe suspicious that it's some kind of weird actual plant. Because it's not magical. Because it can't <laughs> no. be magical because, you know, time. you lot get it done by it. Mm. So maybe it's, it is actually natural or something weirder. In the dimensional? In a planar? I don't know. (laughs) Give me a second. Planar shift. Comes back. No, it's from here. No, no, no. no, no. Leave. Come back. Covered in blue veins. I know where it came from. (laughs) Now join me. (laughs) I mean, sorry, that tickled me so much. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I think the best guess is probably some sort of combination. Like, one of the things that has marked out all these things we've discovered, we've discovered... Well, you know, Francois Henri and Tesla and Shoin, they were all kind of pushing the boundaries of knowledge and combining like magic and technology and, and, and biology in, in ways we hadn't really seen before. And so Oh man, how do I subscribe to the newsletter? <laughs> well there is this this is I the mean this newsletter. is the newsletter. Yeah, I mean go go to Europe, you'll see what happens. Don't go to Europe, I think we need you here. Oh okay. no, also the point was that it's very, very bad. The point I was trying to make is they're pushing the boundaries of science and nature has uh, ruined everything. There was a book about that once, wasn't there? Uh, Is it one of these passions things? Oh, no, they don't deal with that kind of stuff. No, they're lighter. You you mean the the story of Dr. Frankenstein? Yeah. Made a a weird person. And then was really mean to them for no reason. I mean, it was a bit of a strange story, though. It's like, you know, like we, we know what happens when you resurrect someone and just doing it without magic doesn't really change it, right? Interestingly, you stumble on a piece of world lore I didn't think you'd stumble on. <laughs> <laughs> who would... Who would... You know, there's, I'm just, no, there's no knowledge. No, I'm just, I'm just, gonna have to, I'm just going to have to give you all some info and let you decide whether your characters know this. Okay, I've already established Mine no. Yeah, no. It's fine. Mine. This genuinely, I can't believe this has come up. Um, I'm really happy. He looks so pleased. I'm really happy. I, I, I figured I'd given up on it ever being mentioned. Uh, this book was recently published. It's not a very old book. It was doing quite well. Obviously, most book sales kind of collapsed about a year ago because of various reasons so it in this world at least never really gained the attraction it should have Mm. but it certainly was well received initially and you are correct generally speaking it was considered an interesting flight of fancy though an ultimately pointless work (laughs) 
Oh, no. it, uh, they basically, critics said, it's well written. It just doesn't really have anything to add to the field of theology or science. <laughs> what, 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 we're not really sure why it was written. But yeah, it is a book. It is existing. Same author who is still alive. That's no knowledge. Mm. There you go. Well, well, I mean, Zolf, you might know the answers to some of these questions already. So I might well. Allow me to answer them for you. Alex, what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> I need you to target these questions oh, slight. No, as in like, I, I cannot memorise the entire list that yeah. Bryn has memorised. I need I need some kind of guidance, otherwise I can just turn this screen around. I mean, I mean, that would be really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Smith, the people that turn blue, right? Yeah. I know it seems like a, like a difficult topic, but... Those questions. How do, how do they seem to communicate? Mm -hmm. What 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 do they seem to want? Well, yeah. What are their tactics and goals? Mm. Yeah. Allow me to explain, Alex. There is a call from up the stairs slightly. I might be able to field that one. All right. Feel free. Oh, you're awake. Barnes comes down, looking both hungover and neat. Hmm. In the way that some people are. No, I know where, where like they've done the, the cold shower thing and are very viciously being like, the, I am not. The collar is very this. tight. <laughs> yes. It doesn't need to be, but it is. Out uh, of all of those, I've probably had the most combat experience with them. Although a lot of the shorelines have been stormed and traffic's been difficult, we did have a couple of naval engagements before I uh, jumped off. You want to know about coordination? Well, well, I mean, everything you can tell us, really, it's all going to be mm. useful to working out yeah, we've not met what one, our so. next steps and our next questions are. Remember, they ain't been here for the last 18 months. They literally know nothing. Their organisation is effectively absolute. I've, so they, from a distance, I have seen people coordinating in a way that is not possible. Some theories some about gestalt and hive mind and stuff minds, like that. Yeah. I mean, that, a lot of people and, said that. It's a bit beyond my pay grade, but I can tell you that I've seen people throwing something behind their shoulder to get caught by someone that wasn't there, who then came, opened a door to catch it kind of things. Tactically speaking, they are very keen on taking prisoners. They very rarely go for the kill. They try to avoid direct conflict where possible. They only attack when they have overwhelming odds in their favour. They normally strike they, to wound. Their goal seems to be what just relentless expansion? Propagation. As far as I can tell, the mm. only thing that I can tell you is if you wanted to capture every single person, this is exactly how you'd go about it, and they are very good at it. They're like parasites. It's hard to say. <laughs> Do people seem to degrade as they as they go yes. blue veined? Or... Are, they, are they dead? I don't believe so, no. Okay. I mean Showing's almost proof of that. I mean, they're capable mm. of both speaking and I have it on good authority that they they have access to the memories they had before. And and the, the, the magical abilities we've we've heard. They don't lose their magic after being infected. Even even paladins. I mean that seems to be one of the I've heard the it's weirdest. Bit, I heard it's a bit more complicated with paladins. Certainly in the arcane side, yeah, they're still casting fireballs. Um, How do you mean complicated with paladins? Well it's about their connection to their god, right? So if you're taken over mm. by somebody else, where's the connection go? But it, Basically that, you're starting to head out of my area of expertise. From what I gather, it's not as straightforward as you're taken over by blue veins and suddenly you're still an evil paladin. Like, I don't... Hey, Alex, can I make a knowledge religion, having been in the same theatre as Barnes, but also am a cleric? Yes. I think I have bad knowledge religion. You do. <laughs> I think I... Sp uh, it's five. I knowledge mean, bad religion? Oh, no, I rolled a two, so sod it. Here's, here's what going to be a pattern. No, 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 I can, I can give you some anyway, just by virtue of exposure. Seven. Which, which is... You're pretty much on the money with what you just said in character, which is that if you're looking at something that is either affecting the mind or replacing the person in the body and stuff like that, your agreement is between your god and you. So you know that there hasn't really been like huge swathes of paladin sweeping across the landscape as massive combat tanks. That's not been happening. The issue is you haven't seen any of it directly. You have heard rumours that there may have been a couple of cases. Unfortunately, the rumour mill is in overtime because misinformation is... A couple of cases of... Oh, a couple of cases of blue vein paladins going around right. the place being paladins and blue vein clerics being clerics, but so, you haven't seen it directly. Yeah, so like the thing is, and basically like what I've done, is you don't have to take it from a god, right? 
So they could be taking mm. it from whatever faith. It could be that this thing, whatever is the oh. source of it, is its own they transfer powerful their allegiance. entity. Maybe, I mean, could, maybe. The, could the thing itself be a god? No, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, maybe a god, maybe something, as I said, extra planar. We're, we're really, you know, beyond the pale here of like. I'm trying to think, looking around. In terms of Kraken, so you're all saying that these storms have been due to the Krakens. Well, it's a possibility. I mean, it's a question, not an answer. Look. Whenever we've been going around looking at weird weather patterns, there's always been some no, indication I'm, I'm, of some big no, crack, right? It, it makes sense. Also, it's crazy, but it makes when sense. When we took out show in, mm-hmm. storm's gone. Yeah, for I, the I, first time in months. I did notice that. Um, I mean, and, and and there's a historical stories of, of of Kraken is that they did have some relationship to storms and bad weather. I mean, that's you know, that's a not even stories. It's a fact about the creature. That's what they used to do. So what that's that's, how they well, I mean, what that says to me then yeah. though is he's made a lot. Yeah, this hasn't I mean, been affecting one or two harbours. This well, look, is, we saw it in Dover. Yeah, this is entire coastline. Yeah, how and, many are we talking about? Sorry, you can you can see Barnes just a little light bulb go on his go on his head. We going. saw a tentacle. Did we see? We did see a tentacle, right? Yeah, yeah. we did. Yeah. yeah, we saw a tentacle. That's been a long didn't time what, as well. Yeah, didn't know so what he's been was. making these well, a and, long and, and, time. No, but at the same time as a simulacrum. Like, I mean, that's once what a simulacrum's the, done, that's like the, the probably the zenith of whatever they were up to. All this kind of stuff is probably a precursor. You know, it's easy to make something great, huge, because you've got big, a lot to work with. You've got bit, big, big, like, gears and that. I wonder how many, like, you could maybe split, because Kraken were quite, quite rare, so, like, but I wonder if you if you took a little bit of a Kraken and you turned it into a cyborg Kraken. Um, What's cyborg? A cyborg? Is, it's, it's a word that I just made up. I really like it. It means thing that is both biological and robotic and robots what? are this thing that these guys yeah, told me about it's a, check, on a it's a check word does that mean i'm a cyborg yeah okay fine All right. it's a compliment I'll, I'll, but you i prefer make... mecha squid uh, yeah how many right, i'm not a mecha squid well no that, that's that's why mecha squid's a better name because <laughs> <that's laughs> <what. laughs> no the and point I think is that that could be on the table. I don't want more legs, but also the point is, the point that Cell was making is that's a generalised term for it, so I can be a cyborg, they can be a cyborg, but yeah. I can't be a mecha squid because I'm not a squid. I mean, but you could be if you really wanted to be. I don't want to be a mecha okay, squid. Okay, well that's fine, just be clear we'll about that. We'll table mecha could... squid. Yeah, we will table that, but what I'm saying is... Put it if under you, the table you, and stamp on it. If I'm you not have one mecha, mecha kraken, kraken... With your cyborg legs, yeah? <sighs> if you had one kraken that itself had cyborg legs, you could say, for instance, no, take some of its... Well, not your legs. Its oh, yeah, they'd, legs. they'd be too small. No, I still don't want to they deal with... I don't Look, small. they're bad enough in the sea. I don't want them coming on the land. The, the point is that kraken have lots of legs, and so what if you could split the kraken and they were, like, because there weren't that many kraken around, but in order to make enough kraken that they were along the along the seashore, you could split a kraken and, and get make like a demi mecha squid. Exactly. So there's like only maybe worms. one. Ori- exactly. Mm. Yeah, maybe. What it said. Yeah, you, you know, you could start with one dead kraken and build more of them and and make more of them. Yes, but well, you'd need big... two. You'd need two krakens room to have a baby. Well, you're not. That's make, not you, how you're, you're, plants. Come on, he, he's man. not. He's not breeding them. He's, he's just making. He's making them. them. He's a mad alchemist. He put his brain in a ball. Yeah, let's. And honestly, cloning things is not actually that difficult. All right, I'm lost again. Sorry, cloning. Cloning is when you have one thing and then you want another one that's exactly like that. Like if you have a really perfect, like an illusionary tea. duplicate. Yes, but it's not an illusion. Or like a a, a, a demi mecha squid with like two mums that are the same mum. Or two dads at the okay, same. Bond. So actually, that is one of the mechanisms by which that you can do it. So th- by which I'm so lost. Yeah, maybe you should get another <laughs> couple of hours of sweet sleep because I don't <laughs> know. Barnes he... is turning into Ed. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. Genu- genuinely, Barnes is just so far beyond. He, he genuinely just checks out and goes, "Fair enough." <laughs> Heads back up the stairs. Don't Aww. worry, I, I often actually get that response from people who've had plenty of sleep. Barnes is very smart in very specific ways. Yes. But Aww. these so, are not. I mean, this was just my kind of summarisation of, of the situation we find ourselves in and, and the extant questions we have and some of the knowledge we have. But obviously, you guys should all free, feel free to add to this and this was to generate discussion as much as anything else. No, you seem to have covered most of like the core things that we've got. The rubbish is spotting lies. Comes from the corner. Yes, that's true. And uh, no sense of embarrassment. Hence the fart I did. Oh, oh that was why. They're, they're not did gr- I never explain that? No, you, ju- you just did that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, that was... That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, that was... Okay, um, there was a, re- okay, there was a so reason So for the for entire right. time we were in the academy, you... you, you I just thought, thought you... Just, um, yeah. Cool. I, mean, I assume there was a reason, but... 
Yeah, I great. thought it might have just. Yeah, anyway, they're not, they're not great at. Um, how do I put it? They have. It's going to go curl up into a tiny ball and disappear. <laughs> oh no, it's they, okay. They, really? They, do no, you? No, what we... spell is that? No, that's. Um, no, he's embarrassed, but that's a good sign. They, yeah. They, no, yeah, well, yes, <laughs> obviously, I'm. <laughs> They uh, they they seem to be like they have all the memories and stuff, but they don't know they don't really seem to like like get conversation as a thing. Hmm. They are quite you know very literal. Yeah, like you, you're talking to a person you've known and they know all of the stuff. We thought they've read it, right? Yeah, yeah. But if you ask them how they feel about um, it, yeah, they don't so, know. yeah, they'll make it up. This they'll is lie. something that Cell wouldn't know because Cell was not with Mister Ceiling. But Cell has plus six intelligence. Cell is smarter than I am, and there's a lot of stuff written on the wall, which might be things like. And I also the... told a lot of the story last right. night. Yeah, yeah, you oh, yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. So Before like... the really heavy drinking stuff. <laughs> so like, can I just? You say very, very literal. That was a thing that you you said about your Mister Ceiling. Friend. Yeah, yeah, he was quite literal. Yeah. So is so you think that they are they're the same mind kind of thing? Well, I mean, Mr. Ceiling was sort of a hive mind, and there's a reason Could that he... we think this might be connected. Well, no, he wasn't a hive mind. Well, there was lots of brains in there all thinking as no, one no, but brain. It, yeah, but it was one entity, like cells in a yeah. body, not ants in a hill. Do you think there yeah. was another one? I really should a take a different name when hanging out no, with no, they, <laughs> they, they said they were building one under Cairo. Well, I think we put paid to that. And maybe London. I mean, they and were talking London. about starting more instances. We don't know. We never f- were able to find out if that actually yeah. happened or not. Yeah, and you we said asked, that it, we asked to, for it to be investigated further, but we didn't. We you weren't said that the up. riots started in London, mm-hmm. and, and and that was the precursor to the infection. What do we know where the yes, where did the infection was. start? Uh, where, in yes. London was that the first place it was seen? Allow me to tell you, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> no one knows. Here's the info that you do have: the riots started, as far as you personally believe, or at least have the info, so it would be reasonable to assume. Yeah, I don't mind telling characters what they believe in. Other London, riots started that spread to London, that then spread to Paris and then started to move throughout Mm -hmm. Europe. It makes sense that it started from other London. However, the rumour mill's quite strong, but given your info, that would be a reasonable assumption. Certainly London. Yeah, what I just said. So, see, this is the thing, right? Like, the best thing to do, go back to the source, to London... But because we've got no way to protect ourselves, and we don't know, like we don't know anything about it, so we don't know. If we the, go there; it's just a death sentence. We don't know what the mechanism of infection is. No, even we uh, don't know if it's. It could be magical. We it really hope be, it's not airborne. Could given be airborne. That we were around that corpse. I can it give could... you some info, not about the mechanism, but certain facts that you can draw. Okay, great. Yeah. Exposure all but guarantees infection to a degree. Like if you're in their presence, it's highly likely that you're infected. Number two, there have been cases of mass infection where it's believed there were no blue veins present, like at ground zero. Yeah, yeah. So it's the thing, like, it's, it is weird. And, like, yeah, so this is why we're doing this, because it's very worrying. Although the body has been dead a while, and if they need a live host, then it can... Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. People have been able to mess around with blue vein corpses and not be infected, and not be infected. Yeah. <gasps> that is a recent development oh my god I thought one day you are just going to turn around and be like yep no. campaign over well, it's, so- gonna, it's going to be a development we will very get very recently if we're wrong. within the last couple of months yeah. you caught wind via wild that they have successfully started doing yeah. autopsies without infections so that's the work in theory right, we are right. going to be testing whether that's true or not yeah. fortunately but right. yeah so but also that's the thing like is it because we don't know what it is is it a fungus is it spores? Is it a disease? Is it magical? Is it like a mind-altering effect? You know, we actually don't know. Like, because spells... Can... None of those are really mutually exclusive. No, well, this yeah, is exactly a combination of all of them. Because the thing is, you know, magical we could have got it by talking to show in. Because a spell, you'd speak words to impart your will on the mind of another, as well you know, so you can theoretically like transmit something like this, if it were the right kind of thing, like a mind-altering effect, through words which I'm going to call a memetic effect because it's just in my head. And so I've just invented that. I don't so like cool. it. That yeah. sounds Memes. well involved. So it's a m- meme. Like a, a, a thought virus, potentially. Like, I mean, like when you see you spell that? a really cute a cat meme? and then well, just, you have to tell everyone else about that really exactly, cute cat. Exactly, exactly. And then that 
Or right, if you see if you see someone mind. fall over, oh, yeah. and it's great, yeah, and then, and then you, you tell replicate everyone, it. yeah, and they they hear about it down the grapevine, yeah. But you got to make sure those stories are like less than eight seconds long, otherwise people just right. really and, lose and interest. easily repeatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or when someone has like a, a good song, yeah. Yeah. yeah, when you get stuck in your head like an earworm. What's an earworm? Not a worm that goes in your ear, a theoretical, metaphorical worm. But there are worms well, that there, there are also there are worms, worms that go in your, go in your yeah. ear and Actually, steal your magic and stuff. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah, those are... Really, you should think of a different word. Like meme. Meme. What's the difference? We're inventing words? Yeah, well, I invented it. It's called a meme. Stupid word. Well, I think it's a great word, and I think meme is stupid, so whatever. I'm going to use meme. Says Carter. You... Yeah, you would. You're the sort of person that looks at someone repeating an action multiply and says, yiff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? On this real weird note, let's take a moment, have a break, and come what back. What is real anymore? <laughs> and welcome back. Feel free to carry on. This is all interesting. So I'm astonished. That one, one of you at least has been paying lots of attention. And the rest of you have good ideas. So it was, all, all... It was Bryn. Bryn has been paying attention. It's true, but the rest of you I have mean, good ideas. Don't forget, I also crowdsource it from a bunch of our fans. You. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're the red string page. <laughs> good Lord. Okay. He's a fraud. Every, everyone knows a hive mind is the most efficient way to generate <laughs> so ideas. So recursive. Your, your int isn't high enough. I, I think Cell should be the only one with access to the fan network. My int's 18. Yeah. That's I mean, nothing. I know, yours is much higher. Like I said, yours has gone way beyond the limits of human yeah, possibility. Like it's, whereas it's, mine is still literally peak human. Cell's <laughs> intelligence is at a point that it's not always useful. <laughs> it's all right, Helen. The... We'll just be dum dums together. Yeah, we'll be, what have you got? I've got 12. 13. But you're both. Oh. So functionally, no, exactly the but same. But you're both <laughs> like real, real hearty, Look, hearty Our dum-dums. emotional intelligence is very high. Yeah. Um, yeah, my emotional intelligence is very high. Uh, you're very grief stricken. Mm. No, my wisdom is very high. No, fair. I'm using that as a... Okay. My wisdom's all right. Yeah. Well, you're charisma-based as a caster. Yeah. You're so cool. Anyway, so I think we've answered the immediate questions about the infection. I think the next task for the people in the room, which is what Hammond is about going to propose, is we get out from our bags of holding the giant stacks of paperwork we rescued from Shoin's study. Now, we read his diary while we were still there, but we actually have a bunch of, like, plans and diagrams and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's time for a studying montage. I mean, we can do... We're, it is all in Japanese. We're not meant to be sharing information because if one of us is infected, they'll know what we We've know. We've already been... This is what We've been doing this for the past... But the whole point hours. is is that if, if someone here is infected, they already know no, all no. this because this isn't well, secret yeah. from the infected. But they know that we know. Well, but that... I mean, it's but if they're in here with that. us, then we can just... It's called intelligence. But they're telepathic, oh. as was established. Yeah, that's, so. so that's it. If we, oh. if we work something out, then no they know that we know that we've worked something out because we'll be there watching them as them. But we've got to do them. something. No, I can't, I can't, no I just, you're, you're totally right. I don't even have room to work out. I need to be I, doing... We can clear this out. You can, you know... But then you'll all be in one... I, that would, I would feel bad. I mean, I can, I can be a... I can be a mouse. You say, from, from your hammock, which is the only way you're fitting in this room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on a minute. Why don't I do this before? Tomorrow, I'll make the place bigger. What? Well, I've got... I can work with stone. Not because I'm a dwarf, because I'm a cleric. <laughs> before any of you get broad <laughs> ideas about mining, right? That's actually a really good idea. Yeah, I can't believe I haven't thought of it before. What That's do you mean you really can make the place idea. bigger? Why did we build... Oh, God. I yeah. can magically meld stone into other shapes. <laughs> like bigger ones. I don't think. Does what, it have to be the same amount of stone though? What are you going to do with the excess? Oh, it just kind of goes away. That it's, it's, hurts. It's magic. Oh. You. You can make stone to any shape. So I mean, where much do you, where more do you, happy with engineering. Yeah. Did you just? You didn't ask. You know, where does the, all the energy from the fireball come from? You know, it just comes from magic. Magic. No, that comes from I thought another plane, and there was balance. In well, the maybe end. I send the maybe I send the stone to another plane. Well, no, that's, seriously, that's what on, I wanted on, to know. Honestly, I don't if know. You just, I mean, that's quite likely. I mean, the, the magical theory is that there's an elemental plane of stone and an elemental plane of fire, and you summon it from there, but you could also potentially banish it back to there. I mean, that seems like quite a complex mechanism for a spell like that to work. By as though, fun as this say? is, you're all being really loud. What, what, what's what's next so that we can get this done? Well, I think we should just study this paperwork. Look, I'm oh, so sorry, Carter. Well, we're just going to sit here in silence for the next four days while you nurse your hangover. That'd be absolutely fine. Yeah, well, you're out so, that. you know, just stuff your ears. Look, I, I know that there's this idea of, you know, operational and, you know, security of intelligence, uh, but but we've got to do something while we're here. As soon as we're out of this quarantine, you know, we've got to go in off and do other things, and this is the best time we've got to plan oh, and research. Yes, 
Okay, but the more days that we go through, the more likely it will be that it's would have shown so we'll have higher confidence towards the end of this week so let's maybe just table this for now okay okay. and you know we can spend like yes doing something i know Um, so i've i've actually come up with a really cool thing that we could be doing like you know how really to understand people you just mostly reduce them to numbers and statistics and then you mm. randomize elements uh in order to provide a certain level of Uh, unpredictability uh, first warning (laughs) There has been one golden rule that has never been violated. (laughs) Feel free to carry on. I know where you're going with this. (laughs) First warning. (laughs) Did you you just get a big data warning? Doesn't it make sense to play (laughs) D&D? Second warning. No recursions. No recursions. I mean, no recursions. This is a hard ban. Sounds not like dive- a Patreon reward. <laughs> I am not diving down this rabbit hole. Yes, but if we do that, can I like every? T- I have to meditate every day, and I have to decide what my spells are going to be. And to be honest, the pressure is just ridiculous. So can I be something nice and easy, like whatever Hammer is, where he just asks? I'd him- like to be some sort of hero who can swing a sword really well. Ah! <laughs> so we are jumping time ahead a Look, few guys, hours. If we just keep talking, eventually he will, he will leave the room and we can just keep going. There are very few hard and fast rules. <laughs> this is one of them. I will turn this recording around. Okay. We're turning it around. <laughs> and am, inside itself. I am jumping ahead with a little bit of time. All right. We spend so much time underground and really the, the, the biggest... Can we play... Everyone give me a perception check. Can we play Meritocrats and Meadows? Oh. Good name. Yeah. yeah. Good name. Yeah. Oh, cool. We get to play it then. Thanks, Alex. You heard it, everyone. If, if, what by making? Perception check. Perception check. <laughs> An appropriately bad 24. Role. 17. 21. 13. Oh, I got it! It is I, Bertie. <laughs> I'm no longer the Bertie of the party. <laughs> I am going to jump ahead to what can generously be called the middle of that night, okay? Uh-uh. You forced this time jump. Do not test me. <laughs> uh, I, I can like jump ahead more than one night. year. We, we, had, we, had, we, had, we had a justification of why we shouldn't start immediately. We go back to reading and playing cards. Yeah, yeah. So, during the day, there is a food drop-off, there is a waste pickup, etc. Like, it's all... <laughs> oh, no. It's a slot bucket. Yes, there is. Oh! Um, for what it's worth... You remember, we are living in a world that kind of doesn't really have plumbing. For what it's oh. worth, it is well thought out and has things like appropriate covers and rubber seals and things like that. So Good. it's not a complete just bucket and in the corner pump. situation. I will allow you, from just the materials that you have upon you, to start working on that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you said vacuum pump. I just thought, <laughs> and everyone. <laughs> yeah, just get a Dyson out and just hoover it off the floor. <laughs> As always, Wild is utterly cold because you're all dead to him until you're proven otherwise. Oh, he's so damaged. You, Azu, hear in the middle of the night, someone is moving around upstairs. You hear the sound of something has been knocked over. This is not like life changingly awful, but it is unusual in that. Normally, the inn has been quite quiet at night. People aren't yeah. staying there. Like it's it tends to be dead from about like seven pm ish. Um, Party is, scene in this town is rubbish. Is Barn still on the stairs? No, Barnes has forced Carter onto the stairs and has taken the corner for this evening. I'm going, I'm going to clamber over Carter and have a listen at the door. Do you want to actively wake him up or try not to? I'm, I'll try not to, but I'm not going to be... Actually, no, I really want to not wake him up because he'll make a racket. And Give then... me a stealth check, then. Oh, no. Let's assume you aren't wearing your armour. Uh, you, I if am going sleeping? to strongly suggest you not be wearing your armour in this space. You'll be taking <laughs> so many penalties. If you it would be so armor. bad. Yeah. So bad. I'm, yeah, I, I think... I think that she's not wearing her armor. She's going to be wearing her. Means your penalty is only minus one instead of minus seven. Woohoo! <laughs> She'll be wearing under armor. Again, add for that. Oh dear. That's five. Oh. So as you're climbing up, you manage to just stand on Carter's hand. Well, that's his fault. <laughs> Don't have his hand. Give though. me a reflex save. That's eight. He starts to cry out. However, if you choose to cover his mouth so that it's a... Instead of a... You can do so. That option is open. Put my foot in his mouth. 
You have the option of covering his mouth if you this wish. This is not Stella Fur. <laughs> <laughs> you stay away from our IP, all right? But you said I stepped on him, so that means that you the have closest trod- thing to his mouth is my foot. Are you trying to stop him yelling out, yes or no? Yes. Okay, cool. So you tread on his hand and he just... <laughs> okay, I, I lean down and I'm like, <laughs> there's something going on upstairs, shush. <laughs> okay, I take my foot out of his mouth. What? What's going on upstairs? I don't know, heard a noise. Be quiet. Should we have a look? No, we can't leave, but I just want to listen. I mean, we can, it's dead easy. No, shush! As it listens. Give me another perception check. 21. 21. You hear two things. I will start from top down. So upstairs, there are multiple people in the inn. Mm-mm. Being very quiet. Mm-mm. And you hear the distinct sound of someone almost masterfully opening a set of lockpicks right next to your head. <gasps> On this side of the trapdoor. It's Carter. <laughs> As he smacks Carter upside the head. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll lock it again afterwards. So no, we're not leaving. <laughs> Why not? You absolute pile of dung. You're a pile of dung. No, you are. You're a pile of dung. Be quiet. You tread on my hand. <laughs> I'll tread on it again. Carry on. <laughs> okay, this time as we're going to hold Carter like, okay. with, with his arms pinned to his torso. This isn't helping. Mm. Okay, press him against the wall with one hand, cover mouth with the other hand. <laughs> Take hand away. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to listen. <laughs> I'm so glad you're on a team with this man. <gasps> <laughs> If you just let him open the door, he'd solve all your problems. You'd be able to see what's happening. He's not opening the door! <laughs> Give me another fresh perception check. You're taking so many penalties for oh! Carter. <laughs> that is only 18. 18. You think someone is searching the place, maybe. They're not trashing the place, but you get the impression that people are maybe, like, moving around the space and searching. Okay, now I go around and quietly... Hmm. Yeah, I'll wake everyone up, quietly. Okay. And I will say, there's something going on upstairs. I think there are people upstairs. Oh, okay. Well, the best thing we can do then is make a load of noise and wake Wild up. Because we can't leave. Agreed. Does anyone have any magical way of waking him up without making loud noises? No, no. Mm-hmm. They're ready. I don't know. We'd have to have a message, but I think you've got to have line of sight. Oh, yeah, no, we use that. Okay, fine. So we have to make noise? I really want to learn sending, but you know, do you know it now? No, but not relevant. <laughs> yes, we, oh, do. we just have to wait. Oh, Everyone give me a perception a check. Yeah. That's 23. Mm-hmm. 16. Uh, ba- oh, ba- 17. Ba- 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 also 17. 28. Ooh, as you yeah. smashing it, though, on the rolls, Cell... Mm-hmm. You hear the sa- this is this is a very you thing to ne- recognize. <laughs> you hear the sound of something mechanical happening nearby. Mm-mm. Something small mm-hmm. and oh, subtle. No, really. Mm, is the, is knowledge engineering to work out exactly what it is? You reckon it's probably a lock. The door lock or something out. Door lock. Okay. Um I th- I think we should open the door someone's trying to get in. I'm on oh, it. No, not open it's fine. I've got it. Don't you dare. If we open this door and they get if they come in contact with us, well, they're in here with us. We can, we don't want anyone. I don't want anyone else in here. Okay. No, no, no. We won't be trapped in here with them. They'll be trapped in here with us. <laughs> I know what's going on. The point is there'll be more people in here. Yeah, but the room's going to get bigger. Yeah, I know. It can make it loads bigger. Why don't you do that? Fine. Well, they also might be insufferable. More insufferable? You all hear yeah. the sounds of voices upstairs, like, in the uh, main part of the inn. Speaking what language? Japanese. You what? cannot make out the words. I'm not even going to get a perception check. This mm-hmm. place is designed to not let much of this mm-hmm. kind of thing going on. But you're definitely hearing a... <laughs> it sounds like the innkeeper, probably. Mm-hmm. Like, I think what? we should just shout through and be like, well, that's what's hey, that, what's that was going the original on? Plan. Let's do that. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, what they said. Oi! Azu picks up her armour and bashes it on the floor to make a big clanky noise. You know what? It's hard enough to slip in here anyway and without exciting take a things. <laughs> so, quite a lot's going to happen. So this is another one of let me finish describing instance okay. before we go into specifics. Cool. How exciting. The following happens instantly before we get into anything like initiative. There is a 
and then a loud thump of someone hitting a floor. There is also the distinct sound of Wilde's voice in the building. And you hear the sound of large amounts of movement up top of, like, lots of running feet running through the room. What is the go, Wilde's... Everyone, please roll initiative for me. Oh. Oh. 15. 10. Oh, sorry. 13. Also, 16, because I can't read. <laughs> 28. Small you and nimble. <laughs> you get, like, two surprise rounds before we even get to go. <laughs> In which case, then, Hamid, unsurprisingly, mm-hmm. you're first. I mean, I don't think Hamid's... So, so what, what? we heard a thump. You heard the, the thud of something hitting the ground and a cry out from presumably the innkeeper just before said thud. Then the sounds of Wild clearly speaking, like calling out. Yeah. And then large amounts of scattered feet up top. I probably just shout Wild, what's happening? That's fine. It's off. I have to be an initiative for now, <laughs> even if it's just people like doing nothing and just need to know. Get up to the front of the door and says, we can't go out while we want it this way. And Sel? Gonna cast shield on myself. That's fine. It'll require you to step into the sort of corridor a bit, but that's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Azu? Should we put on our armour? Azu's already halfway to our armour. It's probably a good idea. Do it. Okay. I'm going to start putting on my armour. Okay. At which point then? <laughs> I'll help you. We're functionally out of the fight. There was a... There was a... Because <laughs> it'll take like 30 rounds. Because <laughs> they're six seconds. So also, uh... Wild basically gives another cry. <gasps> And then there is the sound of all of the scattered boots all move away from the room that you're currently in towards Wild. At which point, Barnes is at the base of the stairs, sword drawn, ready to go. You'll give him this. He's quick off the mark. Carter is actively trying to fight through and unlock the door. Barnes is currently stopping that situation. If I'm right by the door, am I in the anti-magic field? You mean by the door out? Yeah. No. So uh, this is... I'm going to have to explain this visually. I apologise for listeners who can't see this. You have a trapdoor, yeah. mm-hmm. a stairway down, right. which leads to a base corridor, yeah. mm-hmm. and then the cellar, the prison room, borders onto that corridor. So there's a full length of corridor, which is the length of the prison room, mm-hmm. and that corridor and leads out and bar. up to a staircase. I get up really close to the door mm-hmm. and cast fear. Okay. Any creature in... I'm just pointing it through the door. I can't see what's going on. I don't know the best way to help Wild. So... That's fine. I'm hoping this helps. Oh. Any creature in a 30-foot cone on the other side of the door has to make a will save or be panicked for nine rounds. Okay. So what's the DC for the will save? 18. Eight. <laughs> it is a level four spell. Like, it's a new shiny one that I haven't cast before. Oh. Oh, and by the way, the way I cast Fear, because I haven't cast it before, it's specifically a bloodline spell from my draconic bloodline. So I literally form a dragon face in front of my face and give a dragony roar. That is me casting Fear. So you mean there's like a hologram sort of dragon, or your face like becomes a, dragony? No, like a... Somewhere between the two. Uh, okay, scary. because we're in initiative order, I can't describe what happens. Yep. Just that you do that. So just to give us a bit more description. So a dragon face replaces your face and then you roll well, down a keyhole. It more like grows out of my face. Gotcha. And it's not entirely clear if it's an illusion or an actual physical change. It's quite fleeting, but I literally, my face forms into a scary draconic visage and then roars. Do you do what in the Lord of the Rings film Bilbo does when Frodo <laughs> tries to leave Rivendell with Oh, it, no, it's, it's a bit less... <laughs> no, but in that, like... That. No, no, but, but I mean in that, like, similarly. flash of, like, yeah. sudden change and then back to normal. Yes, yeah, very much gotcha. so. Maybe more like when Gandalf does the... <laughs> yes! Yeah, a bit more like that. Yeah, yeah. We have to watch those films together. I really want to watch You're the only you. person I think who would enjoy them as much as me. Okay. Hey, hey I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, I love them. <laughs> Time. Yeah, but she still bounces and gets giddy in a way that I just don't see you two doing. But, but Helen does that about so many things. That is true. Rusty Quill of the Rings thing then. Yeah, sometimes. We'll do it as a company social or something. Yeah. Ooh, a, a ooh. nine hour, no, we're watching the extended, a 12 hour yeah. company social. <laughs> yep. I, you made the correct choice. We're not <laughs> watching the extended so, You are helping Azu? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, but also uh, keeping an eye on. Uh, okay, I'm helping Azu unless Carter or. 
any, well, unless anyone tries to do something stupid, at which point I will be getting in the way. Does Hamid's action count as stupid? No. Okay. Not, not, sorry, if anyone tries to get out of the cell. Okay. If Alex tries to worsen the situation, that's what you're actually getting at. No, if a character tries to worsen the situation, it will be Carter. <laughs> so yes, but specifically anyone. And Azu is still putting armour on, I'm guessing? Azu is also helping Zolf with his armour. We probably have to do it once. You once can't. Oh, really? Also, like... I thought it might be a nice thing where I could be like, I'll buckle you, now you buckle me, and then we well, can we do like a... could do that, but that means both of us will be done at the last possible point that either of us could be done. Instead uh, of one it's the difference yeah. between one of you being done in five minutes and the other being done in two minutes, or you've both been done in seven minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're helping me? Yeah, because... I continue, I allow you to help me and also help myself. <laughs> Wild gives a definite cry. It doesn't seem to be a cry of panic, worth That's bearing good. in mind. I hope it's a cry of attack. What then happens is all you all hear the it. sound of all of these boots on the, on the floor seemingly scattering to the winds. Ooh! They all just... And Scarpa, I'm going to drop us out of initiative unless someone actively wants to stay in initiative for some nope. reason. No. Wild, what's, what's going on? Wild, are you okay? There's no response. Oh, Mr. Wild? Anyone? I'm going to make a constitution saving throw to belt out, Oi, Wild, as loud as I possibly can. There is no response. Oh. That man is so impolite. Wait. No, that man is maybe has been killed so we need no. to know nope. what's happened nope nope oh, so. because no because the alternative is we get this wrong and we cause an outbreak in Japan so is it wild or the entire country that oh, is the choice we're making I mean, is there is a keyhole a friend of yours can I attempt to look there through is a the keyhole. keyhole yes oh you're the right height as well give me a perception check there has to be uh, a keyhole because your fear effect went through it mm. <laughs> 22 so from here, you, because of where the trap door is, uh, yeah, you quite, can, quite restricted you can of sort of see the entrance to, you know, the trapped room that drops people down into that cell? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> um, on the far side, there is a corridor that runs the length of the inn. You can see a set of claws are currently just poking out past the edge of the wall, and you can see them sort of tapping Velociraptor style. In terms of size, they are small. Cobalt! It is the couple. So, look, yes, he is a good friend, but okay, I'll re- rephrase the question. A friend or the entire country of Japan? Mm. I don't what colour are the claws? Things are really so binary as dramatic red? choices like that try and They present. might be red, yes. Scrock? At which point I'm going to end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm imagining Wild just sort of like tied up and surrounded by lots of kobolds. I need you to know, leaving you all trapped in a cell with the entire country going to hell just to see how long you all stay down there did occur to me as an option. Did discount it. <sighs> well, we'd only stay there, down there seven days because I think Zolf would just like clonk us all on the head if we tried to get out. <laughs> he would be right to do so. We must observe mm. quarantine procedures. If, mm. if that isn't relevant to the real world right now. <laughs> and also, oh, sorry, has anybody ever seen a zombie film? And would they like to talk to me about any character saying, but maybe we can bend the rules just this way? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We've got to end the episode. Just don't Bye. believe in binary choices. <laughs> Rusty Quill Gaming is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution non-commercial sharealike 4.0 international license. Today's episode was directed by Alexander J. Newell and produced by April Sumner. To subscribe, buy merchandise, or join our Patreon, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online, tweet us at the Rusty Quill, visit us on Facebook, or email us via mail at rustyquill.com. Join our community on the Discord via the website or on Reddit at r slash rustyquill. Thanks for listening. Hi everyone, Alex here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons. Theo Kvilberg, Cuss Bunny, Emilia Lee, Cora Larson, Rapsodia, Hannah McNutt, I Think Spirals Should Vote, Amaya, Stacey Bright, Matt Freeman, Black Dog, Karen Hammaston, Heather Biggs, Sinabi, Maria Tickerhoof, Catherine Nye, Jackie Tolomeo, Mary S, Laura, Miranda B., 
Kiara Gittins, Chesie, Jeffrey De Conning, Louis Narrow, Ian A, Christina Stubb, Haley Phoenix, Kototif, Katie Glasson, Ark Churus, Jenny Styan, Abigail Eileen, Chris L, Danny Colgan, Jude, Jennifer Dias, Megan Batchelor, Moomin Family, Samantha Lee, Anita Matheson, Stephanie Schinkel, Alienia, Hannah Sanna, Joan the Deer, C. E. McGill, Tamara Steves, Nadia Bracegirdle, Stitch, and Esme Whale. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, go to www.patreon.com forward slash rustyquill and take a look at our rewards.